Hi, Bernard. What are Hi, we showing in this video? As the title says, this one is a cluster housekeeping session, right? So, um, and we are showing some things, um, or at least the final status of the things that we did. For example, we need, as it is an Azure Stack HCI cluster, we need to register it. We did that before in the previous video series. This is the session to watch, right? Um, we just show you the result, right? So that, mm -hmm. you know, we prove that we have done this step. And then uh, we do some other things, which we talk in detail in this uh, video, um, number 15, the cluster housekeeping of the other series, uh, the generic installation series, where we did, you know, uh, talk about creating a witness and also performing some cleanup stuff on the networking, like renaming the cluster networks for better uh, understanding and for better troubleshooting, right? So we will do the steps or at least show you the outcome. Um, and this is what we do in the video. And I think we start with showing you the registration status, right? Um, yeah. So if you want to switch over to your screen. Yes, I want. So here, now you see uh, Windows Admin Center. And mm -hmm. I included the cluster uh, in, in the Windows Admin Center portal. Mm -hmm. um, if you look down here, it's a bit weird. We don't have volumes and we have disks. Uh, mm -hmm. Usually uh, we would have devices and volumes here. So mm -hmm. in the moment, uh, Windows Admin Center thinks it's a usual Hyper-V cluster, but it has recognized that it's not... Uh, Mm -hmm. that that it's uh, some kind of hci so it's it's kind of them in the middle mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. here you see this part is when we have an hci an azure stack hci cluster we have to register it in in azure as we mentioned mm -hmm. in the other series uh, multiple times mm -hmm. that we already did so you see mm -hmm. here it's registered and it's mm -hmm. also arc enabled and to have mm -hmm. a look at that we go here to the azure resource mm -hmm. And in regular, now in regular uh, intervals, the cluster will report back to Azure to say it's online and it's connected. And, you know, we did that the, in 15 minutes ago. So that's why you see that number here, right? So Excellent. one. Okay. So um, we also see here, if we click on nodes, the nodes mm -hmm. are arc enabled, they are connected, mm -hmm. everything is fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the individual, uh, it, yeah. yeah component is be, installed on in each node. Okay, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is this, and then uh, we have another thing, the witness. Um, mm -hmm. If we go back to the dashboard and go to settings. Mm -hmm. So you used uh, Windows Admin Center for, uh, for creating the witness or for setting the witness. We have talked in this video series about it. So you need to, you know, we do have a stretch cluster, two sites, right? And it would mm -hmm. be good to have an independent resource living on not on site one nor on site B. So this one will live in Azure and um, and be hopefully up. Um, up and so and does running it as, uh, Azure as usually is up. percent of the time. Not one hundred percent, but uh, yeah. Okay, so you did that nine. here. Okay, yeah. all all good. So we so... set it here exactly. But if mm -hmm. you do that in this state, the cluster mm -hmm. doesn't know really that it's an Azure Stack HCI cluster. So it would also offer us a disk witness. Yes. Right. Yeah, you have to choose right. a cloud witness or mm -hmm. a file share witness. Disk witness is not supported with an Azure Stack HCI cluster and especially not in a stretch scenario. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so let's have a look at the witness. I go back to the resource here and mm -hmm. the witness is also in our mm -hmm. resource group of the oh, cluster. Okay. Here you see we used our um, storage, storage account. account. We, had the, we had used in the other video series before. Mm -hmm. And um, here we see the container and this banner showed me because I'm not I'm not the cloud witness guy. Here is our witness, <laughs> mm. and there we okay. have a container. It's also very new from today. Mm -hmm. So if we now switch to the failover cluster manager, the old tool, and mm -hmm. we can connect to our cluster, mm -hmm. it's already pre-filled here, so I don't have to type it in. Yeah, and we see we have. Our cluster. Here's our cloud witness. Mm -hmm. So it's the Correct. same cluster. We have only one warning, and that's perfectly fine. Yeah. 
<laughs> and uh, you see here, uh, we will care about this. We have 14 IPv4 networks, zero mm. IPv6, and the names are very, yeah, very clear. Which which Not... network is which, right? Yeah. So let's do some yeah. housekeeping on the networks. Yeah, let's let's have a look there. Okay. So if we go to network, you see yeah. here we have our 40 networks. Two mm -hmm. two stand out a bit. These are mm -hmm. network 14 and 7. They are cluster and client, and that should be our management networks. We see mm -hmm. that here. Yeah, this is a management network on the two uh, nodes in the even side, and this on the odd side. But to be perfectly clear, yeah. Um, if we had some problem, so the cluster is fine with this naming yeah. con con convention, mm. but if you have problems uh, and you find in the event logs cluster network 11 is partitioned, hmm. mm. so I prefer to rename them to more, more, more self-explanatory so names yeah. or uh, yeah so uh, and if we rename them our names are maybe not so perfect here but they are even they are a bit better than this mm -hmm. so yeah, we, okay we let's, do, do, let's do it but not manually maybe right yeah. so we, you used a lot of scripts for doing that yeah. and it might be interesting for the guys but to see let me just them. show them how yeah, you would okay. do it manually yeah. so you click on the network you have properties and then you can right. rename the network mm -hmm. you know? but we have a script for that because it's a lot of networks and we do some other things in the script too. Mm -hmm. okay. So let's go to one host, mm -hmm. yeah, our first node. And here you see the script. Uh, we do some other things. So uh, we will set the, the block cache to 16 gigabytes because we have a lot of RAM uh, memory in those systems. Mm -hmm. We want to have five live mm -hmm. migrations in parallel so I, get, I, I take this mm -hmm. stuff here mm -hmm. and let it run. It's just okay. some constants. And then here, this is the definition of the different networks. So you remember we have different IP subnets for every network. This is, for mm -hmm. example, management network one. That's mm -hmm. the, the odd one because it's an odd number. Here we have the even one. Yep. And here we have the name. So I want mm -hmm. to have this network management O for management odd. Mm -hmm. And this is management E for the management in the even, even uh, part, yep. right? So let's include all of those. Yeah. yeah. Up good. Here and set our variables. Okay, get it. Then you do so some first settings. we can do the networking stuff. The other stuff. Yeah, I, I think to... you 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 can do the block cache size, right? I mean, you talked about it, setting the variables. Okay. It's it's a little bit on top, all right? Um, yeah, I would we'll do, do that. So um, just doing the block cache size. So this mm -hmm. will create this will reserve sixteen gigabytes of memory mm -hmm. on every Hyper-V node for uh, the the read I/O. So mm -hmm. it's it's an it's an online. Yep. And we also change the repair speed. We discussed that, uh, or we set the repair speed uh, mm -hmm. of uh, the storage spaces direct um, mm -hmm. pool. Which, which oh, we, we don't have, have at this stage. We it's don't exactly have right. So this is an, ex <laughs> it's an it unexpected <laughs> error for me, but of course it's, it's explainable because we don't have any storage spaces yeah, direct yeah, yeah. yet. Let's okay, so this is but the live uh, migrations will, you could do, right? Uh, yeah, I that's think so. be... we will do that. And this is a small script that sets on. Do we have the cluster nodes? I don't think so. So we have to get the cluster nodes here. Uh, let's see. Very good. Let's see. So um, live coding. I don't think we have cluster nodes. Let's see here. Yeah, no, yeah. it's empty. So we do. Uh, so this is live, right? Cluster. <laughs> Note: We just do it. This will in, uh, this will give us an, I would say, an array mm -hmm. of the nodes. Yeah, just do it again, and now you see we have our four nodes mm -hmm. that are part of our cluster, mm -hmm. and this script will will go in a for each um, mm -hmm. for each loop through all the nodes and mm -hmm. enable the live migration set. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the authentication type, set the live migration to SMB. We have done this in our test uh, mm -hmm. before, but now let's do it uh, cons consistently on every node. Okay, That's good. also done. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now we can we we can we come to the part where we rename our cluster mm -hmm. network. And we have so you to talk up, about uh, the replica yeah. nets a bit, but yeah. first let me set it, and then we will yes. talk about about it. Why we do that? Yeah. Yeah, and I think it's a good visual to do it in the failover cluster manager. Might be a little bit easier to uh, to do that. Okay. Uh, there is also a backup net that we don't have here uh, mm -hmm, yet. Okay. So this error is also something that it. I I looked. Uh, I I missed it in the in the. Yeah. No worries. Yeah, I mean, we don't, we don't have it, but we let's let's maybe talk about the backup network or the requirements for backup network. But yeah, but we do that later, right? Yeah. Okay. So cool. here is the result of our renaming of the uh, network. So we don't have cluster network one to fourteen anymore. We have a mm -hmm. little bit clearer names. And yep. um, first is what the network is doing. So this is the SMB one network, for example. But mm -hmm. in the even sides, you see all the two nodes. Mm -hmm. And we have also another SMB network in the even side. Uh, we should also find those adapters here. But I think this is something that is, yeah, here we are. It's just a failover yeah, cluster probably. is running remote. Sometimes it has its mm -hmm. flaws, so you have to refresh the picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you see here we have our two SMB even, we have our two SMB out. We mm -hmm. have two cluster networks even, mm -hmm. we have two cluster networks odd, we have our mm -hmm. management odd and mm -hmm. our management even. So, so far, okay. so good. And we have our replication networks. Mm -hmm. yeah. So maybe we talk about the different uses for, or why you are setting, you know, uh, or which kind of settings you have chosen for the different networks, right? Yeah. I mean, because it's, so, it's important. Yeah. So um, our management networks are used for internal cluster communication and external cluster communication so we have to we have to communicate with the domain um dns we have to go to azure for mm -hmm. our witness for the registration for the billing so these mm -hmm. are the two external speaking networks yeah correct mm -hmm. the other then we have cluster only networks so these are networks that are only used in this cluster uh, the mm -hmm. cluster can't use them to communicate to other systems outside of the cluster and we see mm -hmm. we have a lot of them i can i can do this mm -hmm. so we can mm -hmm. order it by the usage so we have our mm -hmm. management with cluster and client and then we have smb mm -hmm. yeah the smb networks yeah, the cluster networks are used for cluster communication. Mm -hmm. That's perfectly fine. We want to use the SMB network in the cluster to to uh, update our extends, to live migrate in the side. We we talked about all the different network uses uses yeah. in the previous videos. Mm -hmm. And when when you look here, what special is the replica networks are mm -hmm. on none. And if mm -hmm. we look at the properties, what does none mean? Do not allow cluster network communication on this network. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is weird, right? Mm -hmm. um, we want to have our replication traffic over these networks. Mm -hmm. Now, there, there are for this use case to replicate the data from one side, the storage data from one side to the other side. But this mm -hmm. is not. Yeah, this is not really a cluster network, it's a replication network. So a replication can use those networks and we have to tell the replication that it yeah. should use those networks. We will do that later. Yeah? I mean, but for I clarity reasons, I mean, people might, you know, might think, hey, this is, is this a cluster job or is this a replication system job? It's, you know, um, it, it, for more transparency, I think it none is maybe not the best word for it, right? Because it indicates that the cluster doesn't care at all. But yeah. you know, um, it is still used for replication traffic. The only thing is, it's it's not used by the cluster for any other cluster related stuff. Then, yeah. right? Um, so let's let's also uh, give another example. Mm. If we would have an iSCSI SAN, so a mm. SAN in our high, in a Hyper-V cluster. And uh, usually you also configure the iSCSI network, the storage networks also mm. with none. So you mm. only want the storage, 
only want the storage uh, traffic, the iSCSI traffic on those networks, not cluster traffic like uh, database updates, heartbeat, uh, maybe even um, redirected I.O. We also mm -hmm. will see here. We don't want that on, on those mm -hmm. iSCSI networks. And the same is here. Mm -hmm. uh, we only want replication traffic on our replication network. We don't want to see a live migration there if we go to the other side. We we spoke about that. Yeah. So yeah. this tells the cluster, don't use those networks, for example, for heartbeat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't use those networks for the cluster database update, for redi mm -hmm. cluster redirection. Yeah? We, mm -hmm. uh, we don't allow the cluster to use those networks for those traffic. We have plenty other mm -hmm. networks, even mm -hmm. inter-site. So mm -hmm. our SMB networks are only in the site, but we have our separate cluster networks and we have management for our heartbeat, mm -hmm. for example. Okay. Yeah? So cool. this here we tell the cluster, don't use those networks for all mm -hmm. the cluster traffic. It's only for replication. Okay. okay. So I think we are done with the housekeeping stuff. Uh, we, re, we have the witness, we have it registered, we have cleaned up the storage, uh, the, the networks, right? And um, anything else? We are we are good to go to create our storage. Yeah, the only thing that you might want to do is, uh, can we have a look at the cluster and see which IP address for the cluster node is online? Ah, okay. Uh, we talked about that before, right? And mm -hmm. you said we will look at it. So mm -hmm. it's it's here we have scroll bars here. So if mm -hmm. we uh, go on the cluster, we have different, let's say, points here. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Configuration, these are jump points to the, the different parts and failover cluster managers. And mm -hmm. here we have the cluster core resource. And we see here we have our cloud witness. Perfect. Correct. And mm -hmm. here's our server name. Uh, we only mm -hmm. see the server name and we mm -hmm. see the cluster infrastructure, virtual machine cluster VMI. So mm -hmm. not really the network. But if we uh, if we uh, click on this little plus here, yes, we will see our cluster has two mm -hmm. IP addresses. We gave him the 50 in the odd network and in the even network. And mm -hmm. in the moment, we see here our current host server is running on the node 4. Even. Yeah, this is part of the even side. So mm -hmm. uh, that the host server, the we okay. use the management address of the host server and it's in the even side. So we have to use okay. the cluster is presented in the even subnet. Okay, not in the so, odd. Yeah, let's. So what let's do we move. do? We move it, right? Yes, let's move let's the cluster. Let's move it, move it. Oh, the, how was the it? Cluster then? owner. Yeah, so we move the core cluster resource, and uh, right. here it's called the host server. Here's the core cluster resource. We select the host, and we are on the even side, so uh, we want to move it, let's say, to the third yeah. node. It's in the odd side. Mm -hmm. And you see here, the cluster is going offline. And failover cluster manager is talking to the cluster over this core cluster resource. So maybe it takes a while. The cluster is maybe already there again, but the, uh, the failover cluster can't read it. So it can yeah, happen the, that we have to use a refresh. Yeah. Yeah. And now you see uh, it's online again. I uh, realized that sometimes re you need to do a refresh on this one, to be yeah. honest. So here you, you see it's now on the mm -hmm odd side yeah. that's okay but Correct. it states here still that it's a node 4 and that's not updated so and if we do a refresh, refresh here, yes yeah you see okay. it's the Got third it. one so if you okay, manage cool. with failover cluster remotely your cluster i noticed many times that there is you have to use a refresh uh, refresh button quite often because hmm. there is a there is a let's say a disc discrepancy between what it's shown and what the cluster is really uh, mm -hmm. have. so here not a real now, time tool yeah it's not real time and sometimes it needs a refresh yeah so now we moved to the odd side our node mm -hmm. is in the odd side it has only an ip address in the odd subnet and here we mm -hmm. are so it will move okay. around the cluster core resource depending on, on on which node it is and in which side this node is and then the management mm -hmm. network has a different subnet so this okay, is why good. our cluster needs two IP addresses in both subnets, in both management networks, one IP address. Good point, Bernard. I I've, I would have forgotten this. but No worries. Uh, I mean, that's why I'm here. Um, okay, cool. I think that's it. 
So yeah. um, see you in the next video for the storage part, right? So um, we are going to enable the storage now. We do that. So see you soon.